So yeah, a better world, 2018, and uh, who are you? Hi, I'm Jonathan Miller. I'm the owner and uh, founder of Diamond Systems. And uh, you're showing some of the new solutions you have right here uh, at Embedded World. So what are we looking at here? So these are our two newest products. These are uh, using the Comp Express Mini Form Factor, which is ultra small, only 55 by 84 millimeters. Uh, this product is called Zeta. This is a COM-based SPC. It's a two-board solution. The bottom board is the COM, and the top board is our uh, I.O. layer that provides the complete CPU, the complete uh, SPC. So COM-based SPC, what does it stand for? Uh, well, basically, it's just a great way to provide a product that's smaller than a normal piece uh, SPC because there's two boards together in one space instead of instead of everything on one plane. Single so, board single computer. Single board computer, yes. Uh, what is the CPU? Uh, well, there's a whole variety. The whole point of this is that the CPU is modular, so you have a choice of different processors. So on this board, we actually have three different processors, um, two Apollo Lake var variants and one and one. Um, so is it like under there? Uh, big trade shield. Yes. This right here is the uh, SPC, is the COM. This is the COM. And many different companies make this all the exact same form factor with the exact same features. So customers have a choice of different options. And then this is our solution here, which has power supply and I.O. circuitry and things like that. So uh, what is the main kind of product that you do in your, in your company? We have two lines. One is single board computers and I.O. And the other one is Ethernet switches. So the Ethernet switches, uh, kind of like this product right here? Yes. Uh, did they go in uh, drones and uh, ships and everywhere? Uh, yes. It, you know, surprisingly, Ethernet is extremely popular as the backbone for communications and vehicles yeah. now. So we've seen a lot of success in uh, underwater and oh, in air uh, UAVs and underwater vehicles. So um, uh, how do you use uh, Ethernet on the drone? Uh, what so does it mean? these vehicles have all kinds of systems in them. They have all kinds of computers controlling different things, whether it's avionics or data gathering or communications or uh, you know the engine or whatever it's going to be. So for example, something in the front of it needs to communicate with the back? Yes, and inside there will be all kinds of wiring to connect everything together, and they all use Ethernet. And the nice thing about Ethernet as well is that they create VLANs on, the, on here so they have uh, dual redundant uh, communications networks. So dual redundant, uh, how do you do that with one chip? So uh, it's all in the software. The software can partition yeah. the chip, the ports into different groups, and so you can have a signal in two different sections, so they don't they don't uh, interfere. It's like two. It's virtually like two different um, uh, switches on one physical device. It's like a virtual machine on a computer. Yeah. Same concept. So what is this uh, uh, that we're looking at here? Is it one of your new new ones, Epsilon Ten? Yes, this is GX? our newest product. This is a Epsilon Ten GX. This is a switch module, just like I mentioned a moment ago. The comms, where there's a CPU on a module that you can then put on a carrier board to create a complete solution. This is a switch on module. So it has connectors on here, which are used to connect to a, a carrier board. So all the switching functionality is contained on this module um, with the switch and the phi and the power supply and other things. Yeah. And then all the signals go through these two high-speed connectors, including okay. 10 gig Ethernet, uh, onto various carrier boards. For example, here is one carrier board. Here's the same switch module you saw a moment ago. And on the back side, here is the carrier board. This board has 12 Ethernet ports. And again, and again, you see it's a two-board solution, the switch on top and the carrier on the bottom with the connectors in between. All right. Okay. So, yeah, this is so, this is uh, one of the world's smallest 1240 Ethernet switches, and it's all because of the fact that it's a two-board solution. The smallest, world's smallest 12-board. One of the worlds. I mean, I can't say for sure, yeah. but definitely it's one of the smallest. Well, how, how do you connect 12 in there? Uh, oh, connect? this is four ports per connector. That's four, four ports. ports. And all everything we do is for vehicles, and so we use latching connectors instead of. Yeah. Um, instead of uh, RJ45. So RJ45 is not really appropriate for, for rugged applications. Yes, 444 uh, power and a serial port. So cars well. are full of Ethernet too? Sorry? In the cars, in uh, the auto automotive cars market? Cars are using a different kind of Ethernet, automotive Ethernet, yes. We haven't penetrated the car market quite yet. Right. That's our next, uh, our next territory. So what are your main markets right now? Uh, it's uh, military and industrial. A lot of military. You see here two applications. Both these applications are using diamond switches in their communications backbone. So mainly in the U.S. or worldwide? Uh, or? Um, we are selling worldwide, of course. Yeah. Yes. U.S. is the largest military customer of our, uh, uh, you know, component. But we have, uh, you know, U.K. and, and NATO-friendly nations as well. Okay. Yeah. Uh, this one? So this one over here is the same switch module, but a much larger solution. So uh, this this uh, module contains 24 clock reports and two fiber ports on it. Okay, but because of the size of the module here, we can only fit 12 ports on it. Yeah. Okay, so this connect carrier board brings out all the signals. So we have four times six is 24 ports, and then we have two fiber ports on it as well. So this this switch provides the complete um, solution. So it's just more magnetic. Lots on the and lots of Ethernet, right? Here. Lots of Ethernet. People can't get enough Ethernet. 
And uh, with, that you, with that, you can uh, uh, you can control things, but you can also communication. It's all about communication. Yeah. It's all about data sharing communication. Uh, these are going off to various devices. This can be used for long distance communication or for aggregation. So it's 10 gigs, so you can take a whole bunch of signals and combine them onto a single um, pipe that can then go to the next you know uh, part of the equipment. When was this going to be? Is it going to go to something like that too? Well, this is brand new. The world doesn't know about it. So thank you for helping us. So it could be <laughs> a bigger machine. Uh, you know, who knows what people will think of. It's one of those things that if you build it, they will come. And, and people want more and more ports all the time. 24 gigabit. We actually use 24 copper ports uh, on several military vehicles already. Okay. Yes, in Europe here. All right. All right. And, uh, and you have lots of other stuff. What are these kind of uh, things so you have here? So these are system solutions. Uh, this is a rugged, rugged box that we've developed yeah. recently. It's called Saber. This is a brand new product. And inside of here, we are putting in this 12 port switch. And we are also putting in uh, this uh, Zeta SPC. So we have both a switch and an SPC product line for this. What are these uh, connectors? There? These are very, uh, very standardized military uh, connectors that are used all over the place for, uh, for rugged applications. So they it means it uh, doesn't nine matter nine. if it shakes, it could be in a tank these or whatever? These are super rugged and these are watertight and they have all different kinds of contact arrangements and different sizes. And it's been a very popular system for many, many years. All right. uh, it's very well known. Uh, system and these are more industrial kinds of applications. These are here. We have other SBCs. We have uh, x86 here, and we have ARM inside of here. We have these expansion panels here, so you can put more I/O inside the box. What, what, kind, what kind of ARM solution are you using? Uh, we are actually working with Toradex. We're a partner with Toradex, yeah. and we are using the Toradex Apollo smart modules because uh, they make a line of products that are all of the exact same form factor and pinout. So we have one carrier board in, in here, and we plug different modules in to get three different solutions. All right. So uh, th this is what, what's inside? Oh yes, this is the Eagle board. And Eagle, see, so here is the COM. Again, a COM-based SBC, only now with an with ARM solution. This is the an Eagle uh, uh, Apollo module from Toradex. This is our carrier board, which has all the I.O. Power supply, uh, CAN, serial ports, Ethernet, uh, more serial ports, digital I.O., opto-isolated I.O., uh, expansion connectors, all kinds of things on here, display, analog. Right, so great partnership right there with Tordex. Yeah, it's pretty pretty nice. And the, the, nice. the, you get access to all the NXP. Uh, yeah, the new the IMX8 things. will be coming out later this year, so we'll be able to slide IMX8 directly into here. And that's powerful. Yes, that's yeah. be really nice. All right. Uh, so what what more do you have to show here? The booth? <laughs> uh, well, how much time do you have? <laughs> yeah. Let's Let's check over some here, of we can see a few more things. So this is what you have in the market. So these are our existing older products. These are. Um, this is, this is our mainstay is PC-104 for, for decades, yeah. we've been selling PC-104. Um, these are uh, analog I.O. modules. Okay, this is a very, very popular product here. This is a PC-104, PC-104 Plus interface with analog I.O. So A to D, D to A, and digital I.O. all on one board. Um, these are two versions of the same product. Let's see. What is the lattice doing here? Oh, that's the FPGA. So this is the interface to the host bus. Actually, this is a very interesting technology. What we have here is um, this board has both buses. But some people use ISA bus for low-end yeah. systems. Some people use PCI for higher capacity, or they just want the PCI bus instead. So this FPGA actually can communicate over both buses. And it knows which bus is plugged in, and it will automatically switch to that bus and use it. So we have both cores inside the FPGA. And we've propagated that technology into all of our products now. So we can be bus agnostic. Bus agnostic. Right. So we can use either one depending upon what bus is plugged into. And here's another uh, Apalis. Uh, this is Nordic. the same as the other one I showed the you, same? but it's a yeah. smaller version. So this section over here is missing. This yeah. is a low cost compact version. All right. When you say low cost, what does that mean? Uh, in the 300 range. 300 range, yeah. And usually your customers buy hundreds or tens or? PC-104 and small form factory is usually in the, um, in the 10 to 200 kind of range on an annual basis. Mm -hmm. If it goes much higher than a few hundred per year, a customer will typically design their own ferry sport and use a comm. They'll do what we did, they'll do it on their own. Yeah. That's why comms are so popular, because mm -hmm. it gives people the ability to design a product much more easily than they could before. And to design something special. Yes. Not that's something uh, that's mass produced. Right, of course. Yeah. Right. Why go to the effort if it's not, if it's just going to be yeah. a copy of something else? So, and th um, so there's a lot of uh, like square. Yes. Uh, what, are th what is that size we are here? <laughs> yeah. Uh, this is called PC-104. This has been around since 1992, very, very popular. Um, and so we, we were one of the earliest uh, members. In fact, we were the, one of the founding members of the PC-104 consortium. So you were there since for 27 the years. Yeah, since 27 years? 1991, I guess it is, doing, when PC-104 started out. Doing boards? Yes, yes. Um, Where are you based? 
we're based in California. I'm trying to think if there's a board here that's from that era. Yeah. This board's from 1998. This board is 20 years old. 20 it, years old. And it's still entirely popular. Oh, sorry, that, this is a new generation. The older one is this. The one before this yeah. is 20 years old. How this about the, the these small ones here? Okay, so these are PCI Express mini cards. Can you grab one? These are very interesting. Yeah. So, so this is a mini card, but it's being used for industrial I.O. So we have yeah. four serial ports on here. Um, four serial ports with multi-protocol and, um, and latching connectors to give it a little bit of ruggedness. Here we have a CAN module. This is two isolated CAN ports, so that's nice for industrial applications. Um, here, we have, here we have an analog I.O. module. It's got A to Z, D to A, digital I.O., all on, um, all on one mini card. It's also an FPGA? Or? Yep, for sure, Lattice. Again, it has the uh, PCI Express core in there, so that's what makes it uh, really useful. Right. Yeah. We have uh, also Ethernet and digital I.O. as well. Nice. Yeah. Okay. So this. What is that? This is called uh, our Pandora box. And this is a, a PC-104 enclosure. So what this does is um, th all these connectors are on a board. They're all on a board, and the CPU board just plugs directly into the backside. So there are no cables inside the box. Everything is board to board. So it's very easy and very rugged. Um, you just plug in and go. Exactly. And these are all, like, you know, industrial uh, kind of commercial kind of connectors. Kind of some kind of machine? This is typically used as a controller. Someone might have like an like a equipment uh, box yeah. or something, like side of the road or something, and they put this in there as a unit, and then they plug it into whatever they want to do. This is typically used as a gateway between a network and uh, some local electronics. So what's next? What are you going to do next? More small things. Small things? Small as in, yes. Small, that means People arm or love small. Uh, no, it means the common express size, mini cards, very, very small kinds of things. People like a small size, lightweight. So your customers are uh, always having, a, uh, like what's it called, feature requests and stuff like that? We get a lot of customization requests. Yeah, in fact, if you look at our uh, sales, about two thirds of our sales is customized in some fashion. Some is very simple, like connectors, but some of it is much more complex. So they see one of them and they say, hey, can you redesign some part right. of it? And then you do it. Right. See, kind of what we have here is a technology library. Okay, so these are all solutions that are proven, you know, the supply chain, the software, manufacturing, the testing, it's all proven. So uh, we can put them together like building blocks to create a custom design for people. And in fact, 